Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be quickly running through how to set up a custom domain on Medium. Medium this week has reintroduced custom domains for publications and um, for members who have their own subdomains on Medium. So as you can see here, I've got SEO Andy set up on Medium as a publication. Um, you'll see at the top left hand corner that SEOAndy.com has now been assigned as a custom domain. It was its own blog previously already. Um, and as you can see, the publication has already got itself set up. And all my articles are on here. And actually, it's already working quite well because all the traffic is going through. Um, I mean, so the, we'll go through the pros and cons of this later. There are a few that you need to be aware of. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do is show you on andykinsey.medium.com, which is my own profile, and as a member, you can get one of these, one of these submins, um, which you probably will all be aware of because you get signed as a username as a member. Um, I'll sh quickly show you how to set up a um, domain as your subdomain. This works the same for both publications and for profiles. So all you do is go down into your settings, I believe it is. And then you'll see underneath, so you're looking for this, this custom domain. And all you do is click get started. And you'll be presented with this custom domain setup. Now, for myself, I'm going to use my name. So you've already bought the domain, this assumes. Now, once you've entered it, you need to copy the first one of these. Now, these two have always been the same for me, um, or almost the same for me. And all you do is you go into your DNS manager. I'm using Cloudflare for mine. It would be usually your um, domain registrar for yourself. And you add an A record. first one, and then we'll add the second one as well. Now what this is doing is pointing everything that goes to andykinsey.com, that's what that our symbol does, to these two IP addresses, and Cloudflare, we're just sending it straight through. Now you'll notice on this domain, I don't particularly have anything else going through. Um, that's because I'm just managing this domain there. And then all you do is go back to this custom domain setup, click continue. Now it says on this one, it can take up to two days. Now historically for me, this has taken much less time than this. Um, I've set up three so far. Um, one for myself, SEO Andy, and two for other people and it's actually taken about half an hour to an hour. So you press OK, and that's it. You just sit and wait at this point. Now, the one thing to be aware of is after about five, 10 minutes, your original URL and your articles might become unavailable. Um, that's, and that'll be for about five, 10 minutes. Whilst this system goes through, um then that will only be for five ten minutes. Um, until that point your domain will your subdomain will still be available and your articles will be available. It takes about five, ten minutes for the system to go through. Um but that's all good. And that's all you need to do. Um as I say, you can see here that for example if I go into one of my articles. So if I go into this one. 
this is one of the core benefits. Your domain is getting the benefit of having your article on your domain. That's a really great big benefit. It's a medium that you can get the benefit of this. Your brand is on this. You're getting all the benefit of writing your articles rather than medium. But you're still getting the benefit of it being on the medium platform. Now, if I go back a second to where I've written about this, so I wrote about this just yesterday, because um, my medium posted about this, quite a few people were excited about it, um, but I wanted to write a better tutorial than what medium did. Um, there are a few pitfalls that you need to be aware of. So medium has taken away um, the custom domains before. Now, it didn't take them away for active domains at that point. However, it made them quite hard to keep hold of. So if there are very few around, you'll have noticed in the large publications, but not the small ones. So build a following is what I would say if you're going to get a custom domain set up. Um, it doesn't sound like they're going to take them away again. It sounds like they've made their system robust. Um, which was the issue last time. So you should be on safe ground this time, um, but be aware they what they give, they also take. Um, the other thing is you don't control the medium platform. So whereas with, say, a self-hosted WordPress blog, you fully control it, you do not control medium. So you can't put advertising there, you can't do any of that stuff, you can't add little pages here and there, you can't do that kind of thing. You can add call to actions, you can get in touch, you can put mail to links, you can do that. But actually you're going to really struggle to do anything businessy on the Medium platform. And that's the whole point. Medium isn't set up for that. Medium is set up for telling stories, it's set up for passing on information. And that's what, how you'll thrive on the medium platform. And that's what you really need to remember. And that's why the design constrictions are there on the medium platform as well. Um, so, yeah, if you're pointing your, as I have done, your business domain to medium, you've just got to remember those constraints. Um, medium operates on a member system. And it's previously operated um, on a payroll system. You've got to think, can your domain operate beyond that um, going forward? Or an outside style system um, maybe changes its business system going forward. It's just something you've got to face up to. Um, the other big thing is Medium currently doesn't offer a redirect system in that platform. So I previously had hundreds of articles on my um, on my domain. I'm currently talking to Medium about how I get redirects onto my custom domain. Um, okay, I've got Cloudflare, which may be able to help me, but the reality is that it's going to be a hard push for me to get them in there. Medium may be able to help me. But I severely doubt it. I've not found anyone that said they've got any help. Um, the third one is because Medium's so constricted with design, other than the logo you get at the top and the domain name, your branding is very constricted. The benefits though, do kind of outweigh almost all of this. So you get lots of branding benefits from having a domain on there. You get lots of visitors from your domain name, obviously. But also you're on the Medium platform. So it's absolutely fantastic from an authority point of view and you relate to Medium. So you're getting your own visitors if you've got an old domain name. You're also getting lots of visitors from the Medium platform. And if you're a Medium um, partnership member, that should add up to more income. And that's really fantastic for you. Now, you've obviously got to weigh this up. So, do, 
is it a big win across the board? That's for you to decide. Custom domains are back. I think they'll stay. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's a simple three-step implementation of go to the custom domain settings, add your domain, put in the DNS, and set it live. Just before you go, please click the like on this video and click share. Thank you very much.